Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jonesy. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at a uh, video I've seen a fair bit on YouTube. It's called The Actual Size of Things. So apparently we're going to have a look at some stuff that we didn't think was very big and compare it to um, something else and might see how big it is. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Forget everything you ever thought you knew about our world. Planet Earth? Yeah, it's tiny. And our countries? The maps have been lying to us. It's all totally disproportionate. Some animals are secretly enormous, while once famous cruise ships now just seem like rubber toys in a bathtub. Get ready to have your mind blown, because there are so many things that are completely different to what our minds have come to accept. There's around 7.8 billion people in the world. If you, me, and every one of those others had 19,000 kids, then we'd still have enough room for everyone on this big planet. Crazy, right? Earth is the biggest thing that we experience, and it would take us a whopping 45 hours. Wait, hang on, how many? Let me work this out. 7.8. Oh no, hang on. 7. Hang on. 7 billion. Oh no, billion. What the fuck? Can you. Trillion. Damn, that's a lot. 148.2 trillion. ...to fly around its circumference. Oh. Well, actually, compared to that giant ball of gas in the sky, yeah, the sun, our planet is just a speck of dust. The sun the is bigger than we could ever imagine. It's 864,400 miles across. On a 2D image, you can fit 109 Earths from one end to the other. But in 3D mode, a whopping 1,300,000 planet Earths can fit inside our sun. What? Still, that's quite hard to fathom, so let's paint a picture. A football field is about 360 feet. If we stack them end to end over 116,000 times, you have the Earth's diameter. Then do that 109 more times, and you've got our glorious sun. Not only is it unfathomably large, but it's also heavy like 333,000 times the Earth kind of heavy. But why do we look at the sun and think that it's so small? Well, we feel its warmth and we see it rise and set in the sky, so we assume it's within close range. That's just not it's true. Away, in reality, it would take 19 years to fly there. If we look at the bigger picture though, even the sun can be considered tiny. The Milky Way is 890 billion times the mass of the sun. As you can see, our minds sometimes play tricks on us and make things appear closer than they really are. Turns out, it's not just our minds that had us fooled. The classic map of the world has fooled us too. Russia is huge, so is China, and the USA is pretty big too. Algeria seems kind of small, and Japan is tiny in comparison. But we've been looking at it all wrong. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a 2D map. How could a 2D map possibly convey a 3D world? The answer, it can't. Unless you're a flat earther, like Kyrie Irving or B.O.B., it's all inaccurate. Japan's not so t The Earth is round. I don't care what you say. Tiny after all. If it were hanging out next to Greenland, they'd be the same height. See Algeria? Believe it or not, it's bigger than Alaska. Australia is the same width as the USA. And if we took the little old island of Madagascar and placed it on the American East Coast, are you ready for this? It'd cover all of Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Vermont, Delaware, Virginia, and North Carolina combined. In the land down under, it's not just the geography that's out of whack. Local wildlife have their own story to tell. We all know the giant emus and powerful kangaroos. Those marsupials can get pretty big and pretty darn buff. Just take a look at Roger the Ripped Kangaroo. <laughs> but there's another animal native to Australia that's way bigger than most people realize. This, folks, is a wombat. 
cute and small. Wombats are massive. They're like, it'd be like the size of me, at least. Like, on, if I was on all fours and like in a ball, it'd be the size of me. It's nuts. And I'm six foot three. So it's not, it's not small. It's massive. All right. <laughs> Wrong. Take a peek at it next to this human, and then pick your jaw up from the floor. These furry creatures can weigh up to 90 pounds. That's 41 kilograms. The equivalent of the average 13-year-old human. It would take two fully grown border collies to even the scales. Or 10 average house cats. Give this video a like if this surprised you, or comment if this is the first time you've ever seen a wombat. That's actually why we expect these animals to be smaller than they are, because we rarely see them. Compared to the more famous koalas and kangaroos, they're seldom found in international zoos. Still cute though, right? Our next guest, on the other hand, doesn't quite fall into the cute category. It's what about definitely. the huge category? Oh, you bet it does. This is the Quetzalcoatlus Northropi, also known as one of the biggest flying animals of all time. It weighed between 440 and 550 pounds, or 200 to 250 kilograms, and boasted an intimidating Whoa. wingspan of up to 45 feet. That's four times bigger than the largest bird that exists today, the royal albatross. When not gliding through the air, Quetzalcoatlus stood at over 16 feet, or five meters. That's almost four pelicans stacked head to toe. And the only animal that even comes close is a giraffe. Now that we think about it, it kind of looks like a weird combination of the two, doesn't it? Next to a human, it's all kinds of intimidating if you ask us. Paleontologist Mark Watton seems to think that these winged beasts could have flown 10,000 miles non-stop, that's like going from New York to Sydney, hitting max speeds of 80 miles an hour along the way. Of course, this colossal flyer went extinct 66 million years ago, so don't expect to see it anytime soon. While not nearly as old as that, our next fascinating subject has been around for quite a long time, too. And it's actually a world wonder. Sure, Machu Picchu and the Great Wall of China are old, but technically, they're only wonders of the New World. We're talking, of course, about the Great Pyramid of Giza, the only wonder of the ancient world that is still standing. There are about 80 pyramids known today from ancient Egypt. The most famous, of course, is the Great Pyramid, dating back to around 2560 BC at a neck straining 456 feet tall. That's 139 meters. Whoa. You would need 76 Bradley Coopers standing on each other's heads. Don't believe us? Check out this photo of a tourist chilling at the bottom. It's bigger than both Big Ben and the Statue of Liberty. But of course, most of us haven't seen it for ourselves. And since it's important for visitors to capture the whole pyramid to show off to their friends, the majority of photos are from a considerable distance. Making an appearance next, the wondrous, ill-fated RMS Titanic. For all those who didn't shed a tear while watching James Cameron's film, the Titanic was the largest ship ever to set sail when it made its maiden voyage in 1912, until it hit an iceberg and sank. Before falling to the bottom of the ocean, the luxury cruise liner measured 882 feet, that's 269 meters in length, and could hold 3,547 people. That's insane especially for over a century ago. It was so impressive and tragic that many of us would assume that no ship of its size was ever built again. But oh, those people would be so wrong. Next to Royal Caribbean's new Symphony of the Seas cruise ship, the Titanic looks like a teeny tiny tugboat. Symphony is also twice as high Whoa. and twice as wide as the Titanic and capable of fitting 8,461 people. So whether you see the Titanic as small or the Symphony of the Sea as gigantic, it's dramatic either way. It doesn't just have to be world wonders or ships that baffle us. Sometimes the size of everyday objects can be misleading too. Take, for example, the humble yet necessary road sign. Who here has ever looked up at one of those green signs when driving and thought, how did that get there in the first place? It turns out they're made in giant factories. And when we say giant, we mean it. You see, they look small to us on the road because we're usually hurling past them at light speed. And they're deliberately made to be seen from a distance. In reality, when we catch them up close, they are freaking huge. You see what we're talking about? Whoa. A sign on a freeway that spans two or more lanes can easily be larger than 25 feet. Even the one lane signs are wider than most cars. Whoa. Oh, curious as to why they're always green? Traditionally, green is more visible and less distracting to motorists at nighttime. From concrete jungles to actual ones, let's take a look at the real king of the jungle, the gorilla. 
We know that these animals are large compared to chimpanzees, orangutans, and those bright-butted baboons. But the gorilla's actual size might just shock some of you. Especially the eastern lowland gorilla, the largest of the four subspecies. They weigh twice as much as the average human, and are taller than Jon Snow himself, Kit Harrington, when standing on their rear legs. And check out those massive hands. So why are they so much standing on their rear legs? And check out those... Oh, there. I was like, wait, hang on. <laughs> it's not very big. No, I look over here. Whoa. Those massive hands. So why are they so much bigger than we realize? Well, first off, be honest. How often have you been face to face with a gorilla? Exactly. Plus, even if you've ever seen one in a zoo or even in the wild, they would have either been hanging out on their backside, hunched over, or walking around on all fours. Swimming along next is the menacing, potentially misunderstood anglerfish. Made famous by luring in Marlin and Dory with her glowing dorsal fin in Finding Nemo, the anglerfish hangs out in the dark depths of the oceans. For precisely so that scary. reason, humans seldom see them face to face. And if they're photographed by divers, the fish is usually all alone so we can't compare it to anything we know. Therefore, you, I, and everybody else remains entirely clueless to the fact that these guys are way bigger than we think. So how big are we talking? Up to 3.3 feet in length and weighing up to 70 pounds. That's half the length of the bed you sleep on and almost as heavy as the wombat we saw earlier. Want to find out what's hiding deep in the mysterious depths of the Marianas Trench? Check out our video linked in the description. Over to Europe now, where some pieces of art, no matter their size, have larger-than-life reputations. On one end of the spectrum, the Mona Lisa... What the, Didn't one of the, like, really famous paintings get destroyed? Like, in a shredder or something? When someone bought it? That was nuts. I, I don't know if it was real or not. Like, it was in a, a museum and everything, and it was like an actual auction. But I don't know if it was a real painting or not. Lisa is underwhelmingly small, surrounded by gawking, photo-happy tourists. On the other hand, one infamous unclad statue is impressively large. <clears throat> no, not in that way. Yep, Michelangelo's David. In the Galleria dell'Accademia in Florence, Italy, our five-century-old David stands at 17 feet high. As you can see, this makes us regular-sized humans feel pretty darn small. If you're like us and didn't realize how enormous this statue really was, give the video a quick like. But why are we all surprised? It comes down to the photos we look at. Tourist photos, mainly. In order to get the entire piece of art in the frame, tourists need to step back. And from further away, voila! He and it appear smaller. Which of these things surprised you the most? Let us know. Then check out one of our- That's nuts. I feel like the thing that surprised me most is, um... Oh, this guy. This is nuts. Like, it'd be so. Also, I reckon it'd be so interesting being back, like living back sixty-six million years ago or something. It'd be so insane. But um, known as one of the biggest flying animals of all time, it weighed between four hundred and forty and five hundred and fifty pounds, or two hundred to two hundred and fifty kilos. Two hundred to two hundred and fifty kilos. That's nuts. That's insane. Kilograms and boasted an intimidating wingspan of up to 45. The way he took off though, that's just 200 to 250 kilograms. And that's intimidating. I'm boasted sorry. an intim. Just launches off his arms. Intimidating wingspan of Ooh. up to 45 feet. That's four times bigger than the largest bird that exists today. But how do they know what it looked like? It might not look like that. Because you never know. That body, that body looks weird. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be uploading, hopefully, another video soon. I'll probably film another one and then upload it straight after this. So be sure, be sure to check that one out as well. Um, be sure to go down and check my Twitch out in the description. But um, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed your day. And uh, stay safe. Thanks, guys. Let us.